Hey guys, William here. So welcome back to another unboxing. So this is going to be on the 2007 exclusive to Home Depot uh, Grim Reaper on a motorcycle. So I got this off of eBay for $80 with free shipping and it was new in box, but the box was open because the they just wanted to check and see if nothing was like wrong with it. So yeah, it did come with the original box, which has some fading on it and some like probably water damage because I guess it was stored where water was probably at that point. But what I love about it is that they gave me the Home Depot uh, limited offer sticker for this thing. So that lets you know that it was on sale over there way back in 2007. And it's actually still on the box, but it is somewhat ripping. As you can see, 2007. It's got the 2006 and 5 like style red and green boxes because a lot of old Jemmy items have that, but in 2007 it was still there. I think it was there until I think 2008 or 2009. But yeah, let's get this thing open. As you can see, this is what I mean by open box. They did uh, cut the tape on it just to make sure everything was working perfectly with it. As you can see, it is new because it's in the bag still. Here is the instruction packet. Here are the stakes, tethers, and extra C7 light bulbs. Here's the inflatable itself in the bag. Let's get it out. As you can see, it's got that square shape, as a lot of inflatables do when they're new. This has a standard deluxe base fan. You can see right here. Fabric feels really good. It feels really crunchy, especially for something that's like this old, especially with a lot of black fabric, because I knew it would probably be melting at some point. But yeah, it also has the tethers around the base of the fan. So yeah, I'm going to pause the video and I'll bring you guys back once I have this thing all spread out and zipped up. So I will be right back. All right, guys, I'm back with the inflatable. I have it all spread out and I have the zipper zipped up. So let's get this thing plugged in. All right, here it is fully inflated. That didn't take too long to inflate. So as you can see, the front wheel is kind of leaning, but that's just because it's held up by these very thin, like, pillar things right here. So a lot of them are going to be like that. But as you can see, it, it's standing up pretty well, actually. So here's the Reaper's face. It's got that nice screen print face on it. Um, not a lot of really Grim Reapers have had this face, so this is kind of the only one. And as you can see, this thing it's super nice it's not even like close to wearing out as you can see the the gray fabric is flawless the black fabric is flawless yeah there are no lights in the back unfortunately there's 67 in it there's mostly around here and in his face but yeah i'm actually very happy to have this thing especially since uh most motorcycles are getting pretty rare these days especially this one this one is actually pretty rare since from being in 2007 a lot of the ones that are more common are the 2005 versions and the 2006 one but yeah it's a lot like my um santa motorcycle that i have except that one's green and this one's black it's also got that nice uh, ribbon right here on the red fabric. And it's also got the metal um, stake clamps, especially on the back. And also it's got the designs on the back, so that lets you know that Jemmy did not cheap out with this. But yeah, I'm very happy to have this. So this is my unboxing on the 2007 Home Depot exclusive Green Reaper on a motorcycle. Remember to like this video and subscribe. Anyway, see ya. Mm -hmm.